So hello everybody, uh, welcome. Uh, I am starting a new series where I am going to bring guests so that we can talk to you a little bit about different topics that, that interest you. So today I decided to bring one of my close friends. Her name is Zahra Saida. Uh, she's a registered psychotherapist and the director and owner of 4D Health Counseling. So she also does yoga meditation and mindful services. So uh, welcome Zahra today. Thank you very much. Jason. So today Zahra is going to talk to us about stress. Yes. Okay, so please uh, Zahra take the stage. Thank you so much Jessica. Mm -hmm. This is something very common. Every, uh, every one of us going, we all go to stress today, tomorrow, every day. Mm -hmm. So it's part of our routine like food, drink, or stress is also everyday necessity and need. So what happens is we need to know when to take a stress and when to break up with it. So that's why I feel, okay, dear stress, you're good, but let's break up. Okay. Not always. Yeah, that's great. So what is a stress? Mm -hmm. a stress is the response of body and mind to a challenging situation which is usually overwhelming. So uh, suppose you are driving at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour and suddenly someone just crosses the road. So what's the response? You just apply, your, your eyes see the pedestrian, the impulse goes to your brain mm -hmm. and brain says, there is emergency 911 apply brakes, your, automatically your right foot goes on the brake and you pump. So that's a, that's a response to the stress. So it is very useful. It keeps us going. It motivates us. It, it, it actually it protects us from so many things. So it's a good response. Mm -hmm. So now what is a stressor? Stressor is anything threatening, situation, thing, animal, which can cause stress and is frequently an external stimuli. Usually it's external stimuli, but what happens in certain conditions, we make it, our mind makes up something and it comes up like, okay, there is some situation and there is no real situation. So that's uh, internal stimulus. So external stimulus is like you see a lion and you just jump and start flying away, flight or fright right. or freeze. So <laughs> these are the responses for any stress. So let's think, good guy or bad guy? That's what I told you earlier, that you stress that is, that has benefits. It keeps us motivating, gives us energy, performance, well-being, and to do something. Okay. So that's good stuff. But it should not be more than that moment for some time. Mm -hmm. If it continues for longer period, it has bad effect on our health, our brain, our well-being in general. So when it becomes acute, Stress becomes chronic stress, it becomes a problem. So this stress is when we are taking more than stress. It's a form of negative stress. Okay. And and giving us negativity in our life. Some there is no real threat and we are taking stress. What will happen tomorrow? What if this happens? What if uh, I get an uh, bad exam, for example. Mm -hmm. What happens if I do bad in interview? What happens? Heavens will not fall. Even if you fail, there is always another chance. So there is nothing like what, and your stress is making you worse, the situation worse. Mm -hmm. Instead of making your, you know, in a good way, it will just make you apprehend something and your performance will be less. Right. So usually in exam and all the sort of thing, your energy levels are high. 
you do good because you have stress and that's good stress. But if you do overthinking over it, it will go into a bad one. Okay. So that is the difference. Now, what are the major causes of stress? Stress has so many causes. So when we were like uh, early ages, mm -hmm. when we used to live in cave, early man, mm -hmm. the stress was protecting from animals, getting food from some forest or some animal, hunting animal or uh, some snakes, right. something, I mean like um, or poisonous rain, climate change, right. anything or storm. So these were the stresses at that time. What happens is with technology, we evolved but our stress also evolved. Mm -hmm. So we got different sort of stresses and we we are the one who created all these things. So now people are stressed like, oh, I'm not, what about uh, my social media? What about this? What about that? So, so we are taking stress which is not real. Mm -hmm. So some stresses are real, but okay. So let's discuss some of them. Yeah. For a teenager, school is stress. Uh, exams are stress. Career is stress. Um, so many things, health issues, um, gender identity, so many things are there. So let's discuss some of them, like career, role and dignity, work for a young man or young woman, work is stress, work, working conditions, overwork, underwork, jobless, uh, role conflict, um, then some friendship, relationship, then interpersonal conflict, family problems, then lack of support. There is no support from the family or community. So these are all stresses. Mm -hmm. uh, we are nowadays less connected to each other. For example, we are connected all the time with our cell phones or our gadgets rather than person. Mm -hmm. So our level of stress is different. So we are, we are not able to communicate better like before. Mm -hmm. And so our stress is like we, we don't know how to share things. Just we know how to write our emotions rather than express it. Yeah. So we stop laughing for a long time. Just we know how to write LOL. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. Mm -hmm. because we, our emotions are emojis. So we don't we don't express our emotions. We just just one click, and that emoji is gone, and our emotions are already on. The, so so yeah. that's very important that um, we need to express, we need to talk, we need to communicate, we need to share things, we need to laugh, enjoy, and we need to cry as well. We yeah. don't do these things anymore. We are like uh, we are like servants of social media, servants of new technology. Right. So, so they have given us new sort of stresses, and everything is different now. So, why we get this stress? So, we have, there is something in the brain called amygdala. Mm -hmm. That is our nine one one. Okay. How do you know that there is a problem or you have something which, which needs to be addressed for, as an emergency? So there is a system in the brain that when it is stimulated either by your eyes, either by your um, smell, hearing, or imagination, brain cannot differentiate Real stimulus from imagination. That real. You repeat that? that. It can differentiate between uh, real okay. stimuli and and uh, real real threat or your imagination. Okay. Okay. Yes. So the problem is just it needs a stimuli that there is something emergency. So it starts trigger. It triggers and just 
it starts with like emergency, emergency. So the alarm goes off. So now what happens is it gives emergency um, signal to the body and triggers the fight or flight response mm -hmm. or freeze. Some people say freeze as well. Freeze. So freeze, fight or flight. Mm -hmm. So what happens is now you are triggering something and you are getting some response from your brain. What are the signs and symptoms? So when you come to stress, what happens, what's going on in your body? In your body, you can have migraine, body pain, sleep disorder, uh, disability, sore muscles, fatigue, or weakness, skin conditions, that, uh, digestive uh, problems like uh, feeling irritable bowel syndrome and IBS. Yeah. Uh, mind is like your worrying, nightmares, inability to take decisions, negativity, thoughts are very muddled, uh, your memory loss, mm -hmm. distress, and so many things. Then your emotions, loss of confidence, depression, anger, apathy, and you know, like there is muddling of all the emotions together. So your brain is like, you know, it becomes what's going on, there is something wrong. Mm -hmm. So, and in the behavior, what happens is we don't feel like to eat, loss of appetite, or some people they eat more. Mm -hmm. So it becomes like eating uh, disorder, mm -hmm. either eat, eat too much or eat very less. Yeah. Um, alcohol or any drug abuse. Um, so there is insomnia. They they don't. Um, they don't feel like, you know, never feeling good and positive. So mm -hmm. these are everything. Um, these are the signs and symptoms in general. But if you go into details for each and every one, we have, you know, like from head to toe, lots of symptoms, including infertility. That's what I'm saying that stress don't take it very easy. Stress from the skin disorders like psoriasis, eczema, dermatitis, rashes, so many things. And in the stomach, you have uh, peptic ulcer, mm -hmm. uh, allergies, IBS, IBD, um, reflux. Everyone to, uh, you feel you meet today, they will be complaining one of these symptoms. Yes. Oh, I have reflux. Oh, I can't sleep. Oh, I have this. I have these. So they are, most of them, these symptoms, they are related to chronic stress. In pancreas, what happens is chronic stress leads to increased insulin. Mm -hmm. And over a period of time, what happens is increased insulin becomes resistance and then it develops into diabetes. So these are some of the problems that chronic stress can cause. Immune system, it, it's, it works low, mm -hmm. it's suppressed. Then your mood is like always angry, depressed, irritable, uh, low energy, yeah. your concentration is less, and panic attacks. Anything can happen. So, in heart, blood pressure. You have chances of heart attack, stroke, cholesterol. Wow. And in the intestine, for example, there is decrease. Nutrient absorption, decreased metabolism, and so inflammatory bowel disease, and so many other things. Mm -hmm. Reproductive system, decreased ho hormones, and reduced fertility. So it can lead to low desire and infertility. Muscles and joints, you get pain. Big pain, bone density, and muscle tightness, back pain, and uh, you know, the myalgia in general, all pain, body pain. Mm -hmm. So it seems like a lot of the no. common yeah. conditions that we have are 
all somehow linked to stress, uh, back to stress, right? Exactly. Everything, you know, like these, if you have one of these or multiple of these symptoms, mm -hmm. you need to take care of your body. There is always like you are, the body gives you some indication, I need care. Mm -hmm. You need to take care of yourself when you have any of them or multiple of these. And we are probably, lead, stress is leading to a lot of these conditions. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. What happens is when there is stress, body, it uh, secretes some hormones, body will, mm -hmm. cool. and which leads to everything. I will tell you, it will lead to increase in all these symptoms. Increase heart rate, blood pressure, this, that, you're having skin problems, stomach, you have ulcer, you're feeling uh, reflux, mood is bad, anger, irritable, so many things together. So if you feel like, okay, there is something going around, take some step to it. Take one hour of your time and give it to your body. Mm -hmm. And it will not cost you anything, but yes, it will give um, something yeah, you are giving some very and uh, some gift to your body. Exactly. Yeah. Your body will be thankful to you for taking care. So stress management is simple. First of all, if you feel like you need to see a therapist, please go ahead, book an appointment, see a therapist, find something. You you will be able to, you know, like organize things that was going wrong and how can it be uh, settled. Mm -hmm. So so other people, they, they feel like they're good with music, go to spa or some exercises, some something which you love to do, like reading book, hobbies, whatever you love to do. Some people dance, some people do something. <laughs> then meditation. Meditation is one of the meditation or prayer, if you can say. Mm -hmm. You're one of the uh, stress buster. Yoga is stress buster. Then walking in nature, spending time in nature is also. Mm -hmm. You need to know what is your nature. What do you want? What your body likes? Everyone is not the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe I like to do yoga and meditation or exercise, but maybe you will feel that music is good for me. I feel better after music. Mm -hmm. That's up to you. Some people will say, no, I don't like all this. I want to go for a walk and I will feel better. Sure. So find out what's good for you, what works for you, and go ahead with that. But give yourself some time. Every day, every week, every month, at least some time. Okay? So if your body, because your body is the only one who will live with you till the end of your life. Right. Even your partner, not even your kid, not yeah. even your parents. So take care of your body. So in my uh, 4D system health, uh, what I do is I do counseling, I do yoga, I do mm, meditation and mindfulness, and I do uh, life coaching as well. So all these things together makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. um, anyone who wants to uh, join me are welcome. They, I will be like like a friend or a, a professional friend mm -hmm. and help you to all these. So that's my introduction. Okay. And uh, I hope it's good. Yeah, this was really interesting, uh, Zahra. Thank you so much uh, for coming. I do uh, have a um, couple of questions, actually. I wanted to ask you, so you mentioned how nowadays we are uh, so, we talk, we give, put our emotions on uh, the screen, like on social media, yeah. and we don't, we stop talking uh, to right. people these days. We stop expressing our emotions the way we are supposed to. So, um, what do you say about uh, 
what, what is there an advantage of you know talking to family members or being connected what do you say about that yes do you know we are social animals mm -hmm. if you if you do if you live alone without anyone you will get stress depression everything so we need to connect we need to have someone who, who we can talk mm -hmm. and we can these emotions are just you know like okay how many times um just tell me if if someone sent you a joke uh you write lol how did have you ever laughed at it real laugh no we don't laugh anymore no but yeah if someone is sitting in front of me and we are talking if someone just you you, you tell me a joke yes i don't laugh yes. right yes. so this is something about communication we got some communication gap now we don't talk we don't express we know how to uh just type things your thumb and <laughs> your thumb is doing everything and uh, that emoji has taken your taken over okay. your life so if say like you know because i think stress starts slow i mean you said there is a good stress and then there's a bad stress okay. so i think it's it's how long you're stressed is when it turn, turns into chronic stress is that correct yeah exactly Okay. So momentary or you know like okay tomorrow is exam I'm stressed that's fine mm -hmm. I'll do better in exam my my mind will work more my I have higher energy level I will do better my cortisol is high everything is high so yeah. I will do better but what happens is if you relax after that then it's fine yeah. but usually what happens is there is no real stress and you're just apprehending what will happen tomorrow. What if, oh my God, what hell happened? What this? Because today we don't have that stresses. The real stresses are no more there. Yeah. We have created our own stresses, which are really not. And your mind, that's what I'm saying. Uh, your mind is, I, would, I won't, I don't want to say, but your mind is really idiot. Mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Yeah. So if, if, if like you can take control of it and, Try to make it feel like everything is fine. It will be fine. No, no. If if you feel like, oh my God, tomorrow is no, what will happen? Mm -hmm. Nothing will happen. Still, yeah. I think we should let it go, right? Like try to calm down. Yeah. So just accept things as they are, and your your stress will not change anything. Everything will be. Just you have to change your thinking, your mind, your stresses. So that's why we need more physical activity. What happens is when we do exercises, what happens, most of these things, what, what I have uh, here, all of these things, what happens is when we do most of these, we get feel-good hormones. Yeah. Okay. So healthy lifestyle, what it does is it gives you a feeling of contentment and feeling happy. Uh, your that negative thing is like you don't consider like what will happen tomorrow. You are consider you are more into I like to I'm enjoying sa, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying exercise, I'm enjoying yoga. Mm -hmm. I'm not concerned about what will happen tomorrow? What if it happens or something bad happens? And that's also not a real threat. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing. Okay. You are making it a real threat which, is, which doesn't exist. And tomorrow again, oh my God, maybe my job will, oh my God, maybe my this one will happen and my, um, I will lose the job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what? You lose a job, you'll get another one. And maybe it's good for you to lose this bad one mm -hmm. and get a new one. Or something, you know, like some stresses are like, hey, they're never there, but we have made it like, our mind has made it that there is a stress. Let's, let's take it like a stress. Okay. So it's the, 
Yeah, I, I completely agree. I think I, 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 from what I understand, you're saying try to stay positive and try to look at the brighter side of things, even when things are going wrong. Yeah. So would is there? Uh, I know sometimes you can't tell if you are stressed if that it's part of your habit or it's part of your nature. Uh, but is there any way that if someone's listening here who, you know, wants to identify when I when what hap what what is ha that I'm actually stressed right now and if there's any uh, suggestion you can give them like immediate steps that you can that person can first identify and then do is that is there something you can give like uh, um, if, if you if you're confused whatever what's going wrong in your body or maybe there is nothing wrong so talk to a therapist okay. talk to me talk to a therapist or just anyone so um the thing is uh therapist uh, what we do is like we guide you what's going wrong in your brain so, and we try to uh, find a way, a solution to why that uh, you are taking stress, which is not real stress. So there, there are so many things mm -hmm. we do. We have questionnaires, and we have lots and lots of activity. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when a client comes to me, or they talk about these, these, these are my problems. So I have so many uh, questions to ask mm -hmm. that if it is this, if it is this, which one is you, which one is you, you know, like you, then you, you, you prepare a question here and in the end you'll find, okay, so this is the point what is uh, creating this problem. And then we address that problem and mm -hmm. we then find a solution. And uh, if there is real stress, we find to find out, okay, so there is health issue, there is a real health issue. So try to treat that issue. If there is some something going in their lives, like relationship issue, try to fix that issue. Mm -hmm. Like uh, some, something must be wrong somewhere. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. so uh, I we, are, we are not sure there. So th that's why we, the therapists are there. So we we, we uh, try to find out, and I would say like we we try to find out what's wrong. We find out how to deal with that, so and then we we guide them. Look, you can do this. You can do how to manage your stress and how mm -hmm. to uh, go for that and not do this and avoid this and do this and not this. Great, so perfect. we have lots of lots of things. So, uh, first thing I would say, if anybody feels like stressed, just think, I am alive, okay? This mm -hmm. is the gift of God. And breathe. You know, breathing is the most important uh, function of the body. So, when you think, I'm breathing, so you come back to your here and now. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so whenever you feel stressed, just breathe. Take a deep breath and slowly exhale and do it three to four times and you will feel much better. Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you, Zahra, so much for your amazing advice and everything. That was great. Uh, is there anything you want to tell anyone if how they can reach you if you want to say that and then we'll uh, yeah, they can reach me uh, with this for this video okay so I'll put your contact information yes, on sure. there and this yeah there. all right if they want to reach me uh, uh, I have my contact so. all right thank you so much Zahra for coming I hope you guys uh, found this um, this information session useful. I'll come with more sessions, hopefully with Zahra again, and uh, give you some amazing uh, tips for your health. I'm going to hang up and hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.